Just keep practicing and don't give up. Just never give up. Play as often as you can and be really dedicated and try to write good music and don't worry about um, the material ethics that go with music. It doesn't matter what you look like or, or anything. It doesn't matter what your product looks like. It's what, what it sounds like. You are written that I can't play Latin music or I can't play blues or I can't be what I want to be, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever kind of uh, way of expressing myself that I got interested in, I, I would just be willing to be interested in it, learn all about it, do it, be it, live it, breathe it, and, and have some fun. What's poppin', what's poppin'? You see, it's very important that you keep recreating yourself. And see, the world, they gonna remind you of your past. That's their job. It's their job to play Christmas music around Christmas time to remind you of your childhood. It's their job to uh, play movies that remind you of a heartbreak. To, it's their job to do that, you know. It's, it's something they do, but you, you can't let that trick you. You can't let that keep you stuck where you used to be, or you keep reminiscing on old relationships, old. Look, I can talk about this because I'm the king of reminiscing. <laughs> and I use it in my art, you know. It's two ways you can do that. Like, you can never, you, you will never be able to let go of the past completely because the past makes us who we are today. So what you can do is you can put that to your art, you can put that to your music, and that's how you connect to the past instead of just reflecting and letting it hold you back or letting it keep you stuck. You know, you don't want to be stuck in this world. You know, I know today a lot of people don't care about money, or, you know, I don't really care about, like, like this shit right here, I don't care about this shit. <laughs> I don't. I just got this shit for photography, to make this shit my studio, and, you know, that's what it is. I'm a simple man, but I love natural light, so I told myself I have to have the most natural light, and, you know, that's how I evolved and recreated myself. I love natural light. I don't love artificial fake light. I don't love none of that. I love the sun. So I said, what can I, where can I live where I can see sun all day and still use that as my photography studio? And lo and behold, <laughs> like Samuel Jackson would say, lo and behold, I found this place. So that's what this going to be, you know? I don't care about the other stuff, you know? But when it comes to recreating yourself, like let's say you, you're a musician and you stuck, like uh, you put out songs, people not listen to it. You probably put out an album, nobody listened to it. See, now it's time to recreate yourself. It's time to open your mind back. You go back to where you first learned music. You know, you go back. Uh, sometimes we gotta stop feeling like we know it all, you know, and go back as a student. And then you start learning. Because it's, I'm telling you, man, it's a way. And let me tell you, when I put out my first book, you know, a few people bought it, but I didn't, I didn't have this mindset either back then. I was just like, I was already counting. Let's see, I got a hundred friends, so a hundred friends gonna buy it. A hundred times 60, that's damn, I'm about to make this much. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, it didn't work out like that because, you know, it wasn't on them. It was, it was me, it was my marketing. It was like me just uh, putting it out and not, you know, putting my soul into the marketing also. And put my and put my soul into my brand, but you gonna need those moments to recreate yourself. You know, when it comes to your painting, nobody's uh, looking at your work. Nobody, okay, recreate yourself. You want to transform into into that painter that you like. It's hard to explain. You want to transform into that true painter. You don't want to be 50-50 with your uh, with your craft. You want to hone that shit in. Like you, you really want to come. 
Uh, look, I got people to comments. Oh man, it's a hundred degrees outside. This dude got let up. Look, man, it's introvert rock star. Like I honed in everything that I am, you know, and I don't care. <laughs> I'm telling you, I used to, but you know, it is what it is. And that's what you want to do with your, you do poet. Your life has to become poetry. Photography, your life has to be photography. Everything you do has to be photography. You know, even though if you have a bullshit job, okay, we have to do things that we don't like sometimes to get where we're going. You know, do that job, but you still, no one controls your mind. You know, you have to become a photographer. You a singer, your life has to be singing. Everything you look at can be used as lyrics. All the stories from your past, your mistakes, it can be used, you know, and you keep, you use that, keep recreating yourself. You know, don't stay the same because everybody else the same. Don't fall into that group, you know, because I think I posted a while back in a video, if it's 50 of these people and all y'all are singing the same way, rap the same way, what's the difference? You know, it's all saturated. So you want to stand out in a sense, but you still want to keep it simple, you know? And let's see, you're an architect, you know? Everything you do has to become architecture. You have to look at buildings and get inspiration from buildings. You know, you play the guitar. Everything you do, you should be playing the guitar every time you're off from work. That guitar should go everywhere you go. You know, just make sure nobody don't steal it. They steal it, beat their ass. <laughs> nah, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. But yeah, you have to you have to become what your craft is. You know, that's that's the starting point. When you watch the TV, forget watching shows that has no meaning. And yeah, you can watch, let's say you're a filmmaker or you do art. Yeah, you can watch movies to get inspiration. But I'm talking about uh, reality shows and stuff that just doesn't connect to you. You know, everything you do must connect with the path you're trying to take. And recreating yourself is so important, man. Like, let's say you put out an album. You don't want to, once you put out that album, hey, that's gone. Now it's time for your next project, you know? And life, sometimes you have to wait. Sometimes you have to go through life to find some inspiration. And then you go through that, that next project. That book, you writing a book, hey, live in the moment, write that book. You know, become, become the fucking writer. Like live life so you can have things to write about. You know, and that's the problem sometimes when uh, we're, we're writers. Um, Sometimes, you know, I consider myself a writer. And sometimes you will shelter yourself inside, away from everybody, and you won't do things. You know, you won't, uh, you won't live a life. And you don't have to be around people to live a life, but you do have to be around people, if that makes sense. You know, you have to get out here and live a life and get outside and listen to stories, watch people, and just that, that's how you get everything. And naturally, you just go recreate yourself, naturally, naturally. But when you're not living life, when you're not doing things, when you're not going through things, uh, when you're not outside, guess what happens? You feel like you're stuck. Uh, you got writer's block. You can't make a song. You can't, you know, you can't um, get back to that place where you once were. You know, even when it comes with simple things in life, like you want a better job, you know what you have to do? You have to transform yourself. You have to kill all those old thoughts. And you have to make shit happen. Sometimes, I'm telling you, when shit used to go crazy in my life, I'm telling you, I used to say, okay, it's time to make something happen. And that's it, it's just that simple. Tell yourself, okay, I got to make something happen. You know, by any means. You know, just as long as it don't put you in jail. None of that shit. You know, but recreating yourself is important. Use the past in your art. You know, don't get stuck in the past. Use the past in your art. Damn, I'm telling you, <laughs> you have to use the past to your advantage. You know, use heartbreaks, use sadness, use family issues, use uh, just anything. Use your trauma in your art and bring light to it. You know, it's going. I'm telling you, it's going to help you. And like I say, that's why I create the Introvert Rockstar Chat. And that chat is for artists, for
for us to come together and support each other and bounce out ideas to each other, you know, and that's the, you know, the reason for the chat. And that's my um, recreating myself. I'm telling you, I'm an introvert. <laughs> I don't talk, you know, but then I say, you know what? Fuck that. I have to help people with the things that I learn, you know, I have to help them get to where they want to be just by using simple things, simple ideas and bounce ideas off each other, you know? So that's the community. So, hey, let's go. Introvert Rockstar Chat. Hey, I thank y'all for joining. This shit about to be real, man. Let's go.